Hi guys, it's me, Brandy from Tori and I. Um, you can visit my site at toriandi.com. All that. This is for all signs. It is a collective message. Um, and we're going to talk about Venus going retrograde. And that is because I am Taurus, of course. Um, so it is every 18 months, uh, to my knowledge. It lasts about six weeks. It's about to take place if it hasn't already. And it is going to make half of the collective revisit hidden, unwanted, and weak emotions, which is why I'm doing this because I am a shadow worker. It's really what my abilities are. And I've already noticed a pattern. And just on my personal readings, I've already noticed a pattern with this starting to hit. Okay, sorry, I'm watching one of these mean cats. I gotta keep an eye on them. But, uh, so if you're feeling like you want to revisit the past, if you feel like you're lost in relationships, like you're never going to find love, well, this is the reason why it's not going to last. It's not going to last. And the other half of the collective, well, they're really going to enjoy life. They're going to, they're going to love their home space. They're going to enjoy the relationship they're already in. And this just depends what side of the spectrum you are literally on. Um, I know for Taurus people, it is going to affect us in a romantic sector for Taurus. It is to do with not overspending on the people we care about. It will be detrimental to us. So for the next few weeks, folks, do not overspend on your partners or loved ones. It's a collective, we have creative power. We have 11 and 12. So this take, dictates a pattern here for me. This is purging. This is not adding more. This is not getting more to make yourself feel better. As you can see, she's literally got like a bloody nose or, well, it looks to me like it's bloody, but it's not, but this is, um, surrendering to change. Okay. On a basic level, surrendering to change. And then we have 12, the creative power. And as you can see, she's turning away from the past, right? Turning away from the past and really going into bring summoning, manifesting, um, something new into the world, which of course this would be death and this would be the Empress in a normal deck, right? So massive shifts, massive relationships coming to an end that may have been here for a while, things coming out. Um, probably why most people are diving back into the past of someone they really cared about, but never really got to release it. So this is why there's going to be hidden weak emotions to do with someone right especially with neptune and pisces and everything just hitting us this is gold protection this is green of growth it's like a turquoise this is cloudy hazy um the red symbolizing like intensity uh, i'm not gonna look into like the physical things but look underneath the deck it's tr trusting uh trickster um, someone from your past coming in and giving you a little bit of what you think is like an apology or, um, uh, you know, just gaining your trust again, gaining your trust again, disrespect it again. So that's why this is a blah, 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 blah. Some people are going to go back and regret it and they're going to get pulled in and it's going to be a big, big personal growth moment after, you know. After you deal with this person again, and some people are literally purging the past. They're purging it. They're over it. Like I said, it's collective because Venus is, let's see, what's the negative of it? Due to a negative impact of the retrograde Venus, you may face challenges in relationships due to wrong financial decisions. And that is exactly why... You should not overspend. And I'm going to have to keep it sticking up for myself because I seem to do that with a lot of loved ones. And it puts me in a hole. So that's the biggest message. 
a uh, transit that brings issues and love and finances to the forefront of our minds. It, occur it occurs uh, from July the 22nd to September 3rd in Leo, bringing up drama from past relationships and making us assess the future of our current partnerships, which is exactly what I just pulled up. But we're going to fill that for a little bit. We are going to fill that for a little bit. So, justice. This is balance. The partnership and the finances have to be balanced, and this is exactly what's going to be brought up. There is no going around it. So, if you've not been working and you've expected someone else to take care of everything... Sorry, folks, they're probably over it. If you are the other party, right? Because justice is all about balance, fairness, e uh, equal. This is could possibly be, because Venus does rule Libra and Taurus, okay? This could be court issues coming up, something that you just didn't pay attention to, you didn't think was important, and now it's going to cause you problems in your relationships. King of Wands in the reverse, King of Wands in the reverse is not taking any action, not making sure everything is kosher. King of Wands in the upright, just long, just like the Emperor, they handle their business. This is a collective. Death. Death becomes us. Um, <laughs> until debt do us part. Until debt do us part, folks. Someone is tired of the burden. And they are literally walking towards a new path. The sun. Here comes the rain again. Yeah, Nine of Swords. Being very diplomatic. Very diplomatic. Very patient. Maybe you or someone. Sorry, this is my ring for my nephew. Love you, Aiden. Um, so they get stuff done. They're diplomatic. They're logical. They crunch numbers, okay? So this is not all bad. Some of you are ending an unfair relationship. Some of you are purging the past of someone that you cared about very much and you've waited. Right, money. Ten of coins. Temperance. Three of swords. All right? Heartbreak. Loss. Someone's really going to go through it. Okay? The Hierophant. This is all about structure. This is, um, I want my structure back. You've taken this from me. I have tried to be there for you. And we got to do things differently with the world. Okay. King of coins. Like our money, our relationship is not a balanced equal one at all. I'm, I'm the one providing you're, you're not, you're take, 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 take. You need more, 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 more. How are we going to do this? You know, I mean, and this could go any way you want it to show up um, for your personal situation. But this is what Venus is going to do. It's going to highlight the unfair system within maybe you getting a raise, you doing all the work at work. You cleaning house, working, uh, grocery shopping, take care of the kids. And then someone thinks they're clocked out. That's all they do. You know what I mean? It's, it's bringing this up. So I hope you all are ready. Solitude. She is holding a broken heart. Some of you are definitely just walking away. You have done everything. You have spoken everything you needed. So please keep this in mind. Yes, your body. You want to get your body back in balance. And someone is pregnant and you're already doing everything on your own. Spirits already showed you all the signs. So you can do this. If my mom with MS can do it, you can do it. <laughs> she had four of us and five of us later. That's right. Family. Do not overspend on your people that you love. All right, let's see what else we need here. I want to end. I want to end on a good note, though, folks. I don't want to end on a bad note because, like I said, part of you are welcoming, welcoming this purge. Some of you are hanging on awfully tight. So, 
like I said, it's going to bring a lot of things to the forefront. Whether it's family, whether it's you tired of doing everything on your own, um, putting your own health and stuff on hold, working yourself to death. Spirit. Dearest you, we need you to know that you can change things miraculously for you and everyone and make things right. It's never too late. Forgiveness is about releasing yourself from the burden of an old story, which is you doing everything on your own. You doing everything on your own. One in which you were a victim of someone else's actions or your own. You don't need to carry this around. You can set yourself free. Okay. Even advocating for good because of this experience requires your forgiveness to be effective. Forgiveness is never about condoning things that were done. It's about letting yourself off the hook from carrying the burden. Resentment and hurt are like viruses that spread to others. And that is the opposite of what you really desire, right? Imagine what your life would be like without the burdens that you carry when you do not forgive. We're going to leave it with that. Let me know what you're currently going through. If you need a personal about this, there is a 12 minute recorded video. If you can't afford lives, that's $30 through my site. You get all of me about your two questions, everything that I get. And then there's other options. So again, I'll catch you later.